hopefully you got this one, no problem. You should have ended up with negative one minus three on the top and four minus one on the bottom. That leaves us with negative four over three and there's no way to simplify that any further. So there you go, that is your slope. Negative one minus the three gives me negative four and then four minus one gives me three. So hopefully you're feeling good when it comes to calculating the slope between two points. Now what we're gonna do is look at just a few quick notes here on, well, what if there's no change? What if we simplify, do the math, and something happens here? So I want you to mathematically see what's about to happen. Two, two, and negative three, two. If we do the math here, that's gonna be two minus two over two minus negative three. We simplify, that gives me zero over five. Zero on top is okay, this is no problem. Zero on top is okay. It just means that it equals zero. So that's my slope of any horizontal line. The slope of a horizontal line is simply zero. No need to actually do the math, I'm just proving it to you. So the slope of a horizontal line is zero. But what about a vertical line? What about our vertical line here? For the slope of a vertical line, let's do the math. Um, y, y2 is right here. So negative 2 minus y1 minus the 1 all over negative 2 minus negative 2. We simplify the top. That gives me negative 3. We simplify the denominator. This is plus because two negatives. But oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Negative 2 plus 2 gives me 0. Hold on a second. Negative 3 over 0. This is not allowed right here. Negative 3 divided by 0 is a big no-no, okay? You are not allowed to divide by 0. So what that means is this is actually what we call undefined slope. Undefined is what we call that. Undefined. Let me clean that up a little bit. So undefined slope is very, very important. It's only for a vertical line. If your line is vertical, your slope is going to be undefined, okay? Really important that that's clear for you guys. And that only happens because you have a zero in the denominator. Zero in the numerator, no problem. That just means actually, that just means your slope is zero. But if your zero is in the denominator, you're in trouble. So that just means undefined. Very quickly, with your neighbor, sketch a positive slope for me, a positive slope. Hopefully you're starting somewhere down here and going up and to the right. That's a positive slope. We always read from left to right. So that is going from left to right. It is rising. From left to right, negative. We're going to be starting high and falling. That's a negative slope. A zero slope is what we just talked about up here. Slope was zero. That's a horizontal line. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's just a flat horizontal line and an undefined slope is a vertical line so that's when we are going um, straight up and straight down okay so that's our undefined slope hopefully you have a pretty uh, decent handle on that right there okay so our last uh, activity or the last piece that I want you to practice today is this activity right here um, it's going to require some working with your classmates. I want you to choose any ordered pair, aka any point you want. So if I was a student in your classroom, I'm going to write down on the corner of my piece of paper, um, you're going to write down negative 2 comma 4. I don't care what you write down, but that's my point, all right? So I just created a point. You can create any point you want. Then what you're going to do is you're going to... Um, we wrote that at the very top of your blank page, okay, very, very top of a blank sheet of paper. Now fold your paper into four squares. So just fold it in half uh, twice. That'll give you four squares. And now if you can, your goal is to find four different people to then find the slope between your two points. So let's just say that my point obviously is negative two, four. Let's, find, let's say I find my friend um, Alexandria and her point is seven comma one. So it's gonna be my job to find the slope between these points. So I would come over here and I would do one minus four, and then I would do seven minus negative two, 
simplify, that gives me negative 3 over positive 9, which simplifies again to negative 1 third. And that would be my slope between my two points. So once you've done it between um, you and, and one person, then move on, continue to use your point that you have, but then find the next person's point and then find the slope again. Okay? So that's our activity to round us out today. Keep practicing hard. Keep working hard. And best of luck to you.